Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be demonstrating the square slip stitch. It's particularly useful for repairing pillows if there seems pop, or when you're making a pillow and you wanna finish up the last seam so that nobody will know that you used a machine stitch, like this one. This one I got at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think it was. And this was not the final, the final seam. This ugly, ugly messed up machine stitch seam was. And eventually I'll get around to fixing that. But one of the seams popped and I'm gonna repair that. But in the demonstration, I'll be using muslin with red thread so that my camera can um, see the stitches. And this, this bad boy, I'll use matching thread to repair. Even though with a square slip stitch, as long as it isn't like red thread or con contrasting thread, um, you will be able to make it disappear. You won't even see it. Um, the square slip stitch is also useful for um, finishing plush animals. <sighs> that last little after you've put the stuffing in it um, and you want to seal it up, it's great for that too. So let's get to the stitch. Okay, if you're practicing this technique, this stitch, before starting a project, then prepare your practice pieces uh, like so. A note for beginners, when I was learning to do this stitch in school, they recommended using a strip of scotch tape to hold the two sides together while stitching on the underside of the fabric. Make sure to wax your thread. Waxing makes thread, especially during hand sewing, easier to work with. These stitches can be um, one eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, but best not to make them any longer than a quarter of an inch long. And you take up that second stitch right next to the first stitch, forming a square inside the fabric. And you just place that needle inside the fold of the fabric. Sometimes it's hard to do, especially since I'm working with selvage here. And when taking these stitches, you do not want to be able to see the thread on the outside. So that's why we're hiding it within the seam. My camera was giving me some focusing trouble as I began this stitch, so, but it clears up. After taking a few stitches, you can just pull that thread taut. Be careful not to make it pucker too much, otherwise you can ease it out again. And you can make those stitches disappear.
and as you're going you can just tighten it up. what the stitches look like on the inside that you won't see and as you can see it holds pretty well and is perfect for finishing pillows my sample was open-ended um, and didn't give me an opportunity to show you how I end this stitch so I usually put a knot in it and then I uh, re rethread the needle and then um, go back towards where the seam is and push it through to a point where you can't see it and then I pull it taut clip the edge and let the threads fall back inside So that is the square slip. Blah, blah. <sighs> so that is the square slip stitch. And I fixed my pillow so I can toss it back on my bed. That is what it is after all, a toss pillow. Decorative pillow. We don't use this to sleep. We use it to decorate. Anyway, I've got to hurry up and film this wrap up because chainsaws are going off outside and we just ran out of, they were on their lunch break, the tree guys. So that's why I took this opportunity to film this. Hi mom. She's always been my biggest fan. If you learned something from this video, give it a like. Um, thanks for watching till the end and bye bye today we will be learning the square slip stitch and can just go lay on the couch would you just go lay on the couchy boo Mom. Okay. Go lay down.